Hey guys, how are we doing? Today we're talking about the sugar diet, which um, I was laughing about today. I was watching some content by this guy named Skeleton City, and he was showing us before and after, and in the after result, he looks like a skeleton. He looks like he's dying. And I was like, and people in the comments are like, good job, bro. Good job, bro. You're, you're in Skeleton City, bro. And they call it the bone zone and all this shit. And I was just laughing because I'm like, because this shit works in terms of losing weight, it's going to catch on and it is a very deadly diet. Like it does need to be spoken on because it's like getting rich quick. It's like selling drugs will get you rich maybe, but is that the most appropriate way to get rich? Is that the most conducive to a healthy, fulfilling life? And that's exactly how I see the sugar diet because it is such a danger because these uneducated people are going to see results. So the sugar diet consists of eating fruit, fruit juice, sugar, and no fat or protein. That's the sugar diet. So basically it's a fruitarian diet. And uh, people in the past have actually used this to get lean for movie roles. Uh, there was, I think Christian Bale shredded a ton of weight on this diet. Now, of course, Christian Bale also looked malnourished for the role he was going for. He lost a ton of fat and muscle, disproportionately more muscle than you should, which we'll get into that in a second as well. But this diet is blowing up. It almost seems like some sort of someone's like pulling the strings from behind because why is such a toxic diet getting so much traction in such a small period of time? There's also this dude named Mark Smelly Bell, who is very ugly in my opinion, like very disgusting guy. You wouldn't want to look like him. He has trouble breathing. In his videos, he's like, <gasps> the sugar <gasps> diet <gasps> is so healthy. <gasps> <laughs> That's pretty, it's like, oh yeah, I want to take advice from this guy. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's really, to just, yeah, whatever. There's this guy, Durian Ryder, who's been promoting the sugar diet. And he's been doing it for like 20 years. He's a vegan. And the issue with him is he doesn't phrase the sugar diet as like a protocol to lose weight. He phrases it as a lifestyle like guys just eat white rice and vegetables and drink sugar drinks for the rest of your life and just stay ripped year round bro then there's one more guy then we'll get into things um the snake diet guy like cole robinson or something fuck this marker bro but yeah, anyway this cole snake diet guy is like he does say okay do a three-day sugar fast only sugar then have a cheat meal and his meals normally do consist of meat and eggs so at least you won't be starving. But let's go over the issues with the sugar diet and why the sugar diet works actually. So on the sugar diet, you are only eating fiber and sugar basically. So you can have fruit, which has fiber. You can have fruit juice. You can have plain white sugar, no fat or protein. Starches seem on the middle. Some people say bread and rice is okay. Some people say you can't have bread and rice on the sugar diet. It seems like for maximum weight loss, you just do fruit, fruit juice, and sugar. No fat or protein of any sort. And the reason this works is you're not upregulating the Randall cycle. Okay, so the Randall cycle is a competition between fat and sugar for oxidation. I've covered that a few times on this channel now. Basically, what gets you fat is mixing sugar and fat together. Okay, because the sugar raises your insulin, you store the dietary fat as fat. When you cut out all sugar completely or all fat completely, you will start to lose fat. Now, I suggest obviously you cut out all sugar and you just eat protein and fat, and you can go heavy on the fat if you want, if you want to imitate this sort of regimen and go low on the protein. You could just eat a strictly fat diet and you would also lose fat as long as your insulin isn't going up because protein does stimulate insulin, okay? So, and sugar does too, but the reason the sugar only diet works is because firstly, you have no fat to store, just a starvation state, basically. You're only feeding your body carbohydrate. Your body needs to burn the fat for nutrition. Your body will need to start burning muscle for protein actually to a small extent. And you'll just have to start using up your own body because you're in a starvation mode. Even if you have 4,000 calories of sugar per day, given you have no fat or oils and no protein in your diet, you'll still lose body fat. And this works. And actually, I'm not even so against using this as like a temporary protocol. If you want to do, if you've been eating very well, and for three days, you want to do sugar only to lose some more body fat, it will work. My only issue is this will still be damaging to your body and you'll still be in malnutrition. So let's go over the nutrition, not on the sugar diet, which this should be common fucking sense, shouldn't it? If you're going on this diet, it should be for temporary fat loss, not a sustained diet like the durian, durian rider guy promotes. Well, he's a vegan, so he's obviously retarded anyway, but vitamin A, D, K2, B12, B6. Yes, B6 is not in plants, not the actual bioavailable version, 
CLA, taurine, cholesterol, carnitine, even more things, creatine, etc. Those things are not in this diet. Okay. Some people include vegetables on this diet. Guess what? None of that's in vegetables either. Okay. You need protein. You need animal fat long-term for maximum health for even to really fucking live, which is why most vegans quit after a few years. You're in starvation. This will work. I'm not going to lie to you and say, this won't work. I'm not going to be like those dumbasses that say, oh, it won't work. No, it definitely works. It's just extremely unhealthy. That's the takeaway. The better way to do it is to stop being an addict. If you're a fat ass, stop being an addict. Just eat animal protein and fat. Go fat heavy. Don't do huge amounts of protein at one time to not stimulate your insulin. The fat will shred off. There is a million carnivore weight loss success stories, fat loss success stories for a reason. If you follow it, you will lose fat efficiently. Okay. If you follow this, you will lose fat. It is not sustainable though. If you do this for 30 days, your muscle will start falling off the bone. You will have no protein. You'll be in an extreme pro protein deficit. Yeah, sure. You're eating up your own fat. Maybe you get some fat soluble vitamins. You're not going to be having any of the water soluble vitamins like B12 and B6. You'll have maybe some others from the fruit, like B2 or whatever, but maybe some folate. You'll be deficient in the amino acids, deficient in, in things like creatine, amino acid precursors. You'll be very deficient. You cannot supplement them. It does not work the same way. So my verdict is sugar diet at most few days. I wouldn't do it to begin with. Just get on to something sustainable, which is carnivore. People say carnivore isn't sustainable, but carnivore has every nutrient you need. You won't be activating the Randall cycle. You'll shred off the fat. Your insulin will be at a very low, stable rate. What's not sustainable is something without nutrition. This is a gimmick protocol that will work. You will lose body weight. Now, more of that weight will be protein, or sorry, more of that weight will be muscle than if you were carnivore, because on carnivore, you actually shred fat because you're providing your body with ample protein. To, and, and especially when paired with training, you can actually put on muscle and lose fat at the same time. We've seen this countless times. This is for addicts. This is not sustainable. This will hurt your body. Advanced location end products, okay? Tons of them are gonna be created endogenously with this. Glycation's going crazy. Insulin spikes, blood glucose spikes. Your acne is gonna come back. You know, this is not healthy. It's malnutrition. So yeah, guys, hope this explained things. To put in just a few sentences, the sugar diet works. It's extremely unhealthy. A carnivore ketogenic diet is sustainable with every single nutrient you need. Fat and protein for your muscles, fat for your hormones. You'll still shred the weight. It doesn't taste as good maybe as the ultra processed foods, which are designed to be drugs. If you can believe in yourself, give up the drugs, there's something much better waiting for you, a much better life. You're going to feel more fulfilled, happy, look better. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.